It starts from the minute I wake up. I think about all these things. Did I give Noah his medicines? Did I put the laundry to dry? Still have to go to the grocery store. My grandson, I have to fit him in. Everything that I have to do at work. Did I approve vacations? Did I fix time and attendance? Every minute is filled of every day. When I first started Home Depot, I was single mom. I have four kids. Gabby and Alyssa, and then it's a 20 year age gap. I have Maya, that's my little softball player, and then I have Noah, the one that, that keeps me on my toes. Early September of last year, Noah got really sick on me. He was vomiting all the time. When the doctor saw him, he was like, you're gonna have to go straight to the emergency and it just went downhill from there. When he got sick, I just started the MET position. I reached out to my manager, Frank Salinas. He was like, take care of, you take care of Noah. I was in the hospital every day. I had, a, you know, a meeting with my team over on the iPhone and I always kept the line of communication open just so that they wouldn't feel like I left them. I just abandoned them because Home Depot has never abandoned me. Noah, he has what they call ruminating syndrome. He couldn't hold anything down. I needed like triple the amount of feeding tube bags. The manager, Brian, overheard some of my conversation. The very next day, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to leave for work, and there were two boxes of feeding tube bags at my front doorstep. When I opened that door, I said, thank you for everything, because I couldn't have done it without the Home Depot. You know, they were there when I needed them. Angie, oh, such a, a, a shining star. I feel blessed to have her on part of my team. I met her in the very first store that I worked at. You could instantly tell the amount of respect that the team had for her. If somebody needed something personally, um, she was there. She does anything for anyone. She's a wonderful leader. She came right out the bat engaged and just, she's all about her people. Everybody loves Angie. I used to be very withdrawn. She opened me up. She stuck by me and I'm grateful. I was gone not even two days. The store manager, he's texting me, are you okay? Do you need anything? The ASDS, Terry, she reached out to me and she's like, you don't worry about anything. We have whatever you need. Without my extended family, Home Depot, I couldn't have done it. It's like family taking care of family. We were always in and out of the hospital, and I was in the need of a new car. My dream car was the Dodge Charger. I went to the Dodge dealership, and I said, that's just out of reach. My thing was I never made enough money. The gentleman comes out, and he's like, OK, you ready to sign? And I was like, for what? And he's like, so you can take your car home. And I was like, no way. Being able to afford that car on my own was the growing up point for me. Through hard work, I made it. As long as I have a job to go to every day, as long as Home Depot's there, I'm there. What's kept me at Home Depot for 20 years, the culture, the commitment, the promise that they give to each associate, they truly mean work-life balance. Home Depot has made possibilities for me that I would have never dreamt of. I'm Angela Hernandez. I'm the Met Supervisor at the Home Depot and loving every minute of it. <laughs>